Well, I put down my pet slate first. And we're going to start, uh, start off with an easy dump by using Gatkin block. This is an 88 piece with seven shapes it, with lots of different colors, wheels, and why you put the toy card there. But that's not included, so there's like yellow circles, different color blocks, wheels, and lots of different other things. So we'll start to introduce the Gakin Domino, I named it. So first, the starting point is the ball. You can follow these steps and make your own back in domino too. So you need a piano chair. Super old ball. It's okay if it's a big ball. I put this in this uh, little hole, but not exactly a hole, so it can stay there. So it won't roll around. And then someone will push this ball. Hits this suitcase. Suitcase door falls down. And this is very complicated. Tricky question. How can you let the suitcase hit the red thing? This is not fat enough. It's not thick enough. And this, if you try to force this like that, it will force itself back on top, see? The answer is using one Gatkin block. It hits this little peggy, hits, and then it hits this, then it pushes, pushes. That makes the handle go too. So the handle will hit the red thing. That will keep going, right? So I have to measure, it should be just right. And then continue normal domino as we talked about dominoes in episode 405. Up, up, a Gakin skyscraper knocks down this book, knocks this book. Using Gakin blocks, it's very easy to make stuff. And it's very easy to tidy up. Knocks this book. I use this toy. So this is heavy. So this book even though this is heavy too won't knock down the box or else it'll knock down this whole thing so the top knocks down the wheels which is wobbly which is by Gakin too rolls 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 hits this one domino domino hit with a board hit with a board hit big with a board this, there's car park spaces here. Yeah. And then knocks down, knocks the box. And this is very special. Our assistant Wyatt made this. He'll knock this. And what I want is this box exactly covers the green code. Green means good and red, red means bad. So I want green. So after it covers that,
shuttlecock in English. It is used a, a, a long time ago and it's from China. And there's different types of colors. Some are heavy and some are light. Um, I'm gonna give you a tricky question. Look at this. I put this upside down. Why do they land not upside down? I was putting them upside down, but they seem to turn in midair. The answer is there are very thin pieces of metal in the bottom and then a soft piece of rubber on top. And these feathers are super light. So metal plus feathers, metal wins. Metal is uh, heavier. So it, the metal pushes down itself and faces itself to the ground. Very scientific. And this is used in China 2000 years ago which is a very long time. We're going to use this as trick shots. Let's go. This is twin flame. 